Well, hello everyone. This is Kimberly here. Welcome to Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. Today, I am participating in the Fall Mantle Decor Challenge for 2019, hosted by my beautiful sister, Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie. The details to this challenge, they were very simple. You just needed to decorate your mantle for fall and you need it to include at least one pumpkin. So we're just gonna jump right in. Now I'm gonna take you and show you some of the things that I will be using on this mantle. As you can see, I have some garland on my floor that I'm getting ready to place on my mantle. I picked this garland up a couple of years ago. I got lucky or blessed, I would say, to catch uh, a couple of pairs of garland at Hobby Lobby clearance, guys. So this is one set. And over here on my movie bar, I have some items just laid out. We'll see what we use. Um, I want to bring more burgundies and tans into my family room. This mantle here is in my family room and I may possibly do another one in my master bedroom, we'll see. But I did pick these up, these are new from Hobby Lobby um, for $3.99 with 40% off each, okay? So let's get started. This fireplace, by the way, came from Big Lots um, three years ago, matter of fact. They have one similar to this. Uh, they make them a little different each year, the molding. But they're pretty much the same, all right? So let's get started. We're gonna start by placing the garland on the mantle. And let me show this. Dollar Tree has these removable hooks. These are just like command hooks, but you get three in a pack for a dollar, all right? And I've tried uh, hanging this garland on here and letting it sit for a week. It works just as good, guys. Three packs for a dollar. I mean, three hooks for a dollar, excuse me. And you can see I have one missing out of it works very well and I have them placed on the mantle. So I have this hooked garland bent here so it will hook around my hooks so it'll support it. I'm gonna play around with it until I get my desired shape that I want. I am using two garlands for this fireplace. Like so. Now if I wanted to leave it like this, I could. It looks good to me just like this. But y'all know I can't leave it just like this. Plus, I want to add some red tones into this. I want to pick up the reds, the oranges, all of the colors of fall. So now I'm going to add my sunflowers, my burgundy sunflowers to the garland. They just clip on. I have five of these and I'm going to randomly put them in place. I'm trying to work in odd numbers, threes, fives, Sevens, you get the gist, right? <laughs> A 
loving how they look so far and how the garland looks on my mantle so far. Now I'm gonna add these leaves that I picked up from Walmart. Um, I think last year in the red and I wish I could find more. I need to go in there and see if they have any more. But I'm gonna fill this in even more with my red because I want those touches of red throughout this um, garland here. tucking them in, filling in different spaces. this I'm seeing a few spaces that I need to fill in um, but other than that for the most part I think I'm done um, when you come to the fall season you start losing um, your leaves and your branches become sparse <laughs> and that's how I want it to kind of look but with my touches of red, all right? Okay, I took a step back and I also added a bunch of these leaves from the Dollar Tree that I had already. Don't know if they have them still. And I don't know if I did this or not because this is a new day. And if, it, if I did, excuse me. But I also added these little picks in, the red picks to fill it up a bit. Now I went out in the garage because I have some of my decor out there and I came across these. These glittered branches. I have these in this brown color. I have them in gold and I have them in silver. I picked these up I think at 90% off last year. 80% off so I'm gonna try <laughs> to insert these into this garland here I should have did this first and hopefully I won't topple too much over. I just want these to stick out somewhat here on the end. And you can see that there. I'm gonna do the other side. And then I may try to put some midways there. Plus, I'm trying not to get in the camera's way. <laughs> uh, oh. So I have it on that side as well. Looking pretty. Looks good. 
I'm really trying not to have it too busy. A whole bunch of stuff down, you know, all around it and everything. Um, but I want it pretty. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring back my ladder. I'm gonna place it right here, like so. And place my blanket. So anytime I want my blanket or a guest comes over and they're a little chilly, they can grab this blanket sitting here and they can use it. And that ladder is perfect right there. I've used it before and I love that ladder. I actually purchased that ladder from Hobby Lobby for under $5. <laughs> the blanket also came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, clearance as well. So next I'm going to put a little something on the hearth. It's something I've already had. I like to shop my home when I'm decorating and I'm going to add this thankful sign in wood. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby last year and they do have it again this year. So I'm going to place it down there and it's perfect. It bounces off of the off white of the fireplace. So that's how my fireplace look. I am loving it. It's not overly done. It's just enough. So that's how my fireplace looks. I'm loving it. The top of the fireplace. Loving it. Um, love how it looks with my pops of reds and Hands and touches of browns and greens. Just beautiful to me. So let me give you a look around those wreaths over there and over there. Um, I will take those down. I just haven't taken them down yet, but will. <laughs> Um, and I will let them go bare. I won't even put anything up there, but <laughs> loving this, loving this. Um, so I'm going to show you around keeping things very simple because again, you got to clean all around all of these items, but you want it pretty for fall. You want it festive and that's what I have here, but simple and elegant give you a close-up on the garland and all of the different picks and florals and I think those burgundy sunflowers are my absolute favorite this year from Hobby Lobby those are beautiful I need to go hunt down more just to have on hand. Beautiful. Give you a glance here from the other side. Can't get over those branches there. <laughs> those are gorgeous to me. below to the box where you see the florals, the pops of red. 
and I kept it simple. I just put the florals in there and tuck some pumpkins in there to fill up that box. And on the harp, the thankful sign. How beautiful is that? And last but not least, the ladder leaning on the fireplace with the blanket. So, so pretty. Now I'm looking for something for my fireplace and I'm in hopes that I find this before the season ends. If not, I'm hoping to find it for <laughs> the Christmas season so you stay tuned I may have to make it too we'll see because it can be made <laughs> I would like to thank Stephanie for hosting this beautiful collaboration please go over to Stephanie's channel her channel will be linked in my description box down below as well as check out the playlist of these talented creators that will be participating in this challenge. I cannot wait to sit back and see how beautiful their fall mantles are. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. I hope you decide to stay. If so, please like, comment, and share, and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as a part of the Diva family. To all of my faithful and returning Diva family members, thank you so much for all of the love and support that you give on a regular basis. I appreciate it so, so much. I can be followed on other social media sites, which are Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok. Those social media sites links will be listed in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.